Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today we're going to do an update on the lilac cuttings. Sorry about the noise in here, but there's no way around it. I can't wait any longer. You'll see why when I show that. We're going to do an update on these lilacs as well, as well as a general update on all the stuff here. All right, let's get at it. I put these back under the heat. These are the lilacs. You can see roots right there, but these are grapes. You don't see any roots here, and I don't think there's going to be any. For those of you who missed the video, I came out here one morning and the heating pad had failed. It got really, really hot, it almost started a fire, melted the plastic, and the entire greenhouse smelt like, like cooked vegetables. That was my bag of, or this bag of lilacs. But I took it and put it along with the grape cuttings to see if I have anything that made it through. But I'm really doubting it. You can obviously see, and these are, these have been sitting too long, so there's a problem with these as well. These have obviously rooted, but some of them have rooted all the way up and their leaves. You can see this leaf. It has sprouted leaves and then just switched to roots up there. So this should be okay. We'll see how these work out. I'm really not sure on them. But we're going to get these potted as well. This is the lilac cuttings. And I think they... I don't think any of them made it. They're real skinny. Uh, got a little bit of mold on, yeah, mold on the buds. They did not make it through. So, that's a bust. Yeah, that was just a failure of the heating pad, unfortunately. And now we have these. which I don't know. They don't look all that great. They got a little bit of flowering going on there. Let's pop one out of here and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So now if this, I would expect to see roots coming out of the bottom by now. So I think this is probably a failure as well. Nope, no roots. See what this big one looks like. Nothing. Nope, nothing at all. Okay. I'm just going to empty these pots into my soil here and call that experiment a failure. All right, out of all of these, none of them have roots except for this one. It has one tiny little root. So I'm gonna pot this, I'm gonna rub off most of the buds, or actually I'm just gonna cut this top off and then rub off the buds and just leave these two buds. And I'm gonna see if I can get this one to grow. Okay, probably about right there, and then take, take these buds off.
Okay, I'm gonna water this up. And the difference is, this stuff is not gonna be on a, a heating pad now. So maybe this one will make it, we'll see. This is uh, straight water with a half a, or a teaspoon of CalMag in it. Okay, now for these. Yeah, I hope they come back. See where these, where it had leaves. I'm hoping that it sprouts again. Either either some leaves here or here. It may be too late. I was waiting on these because the weather was too cold. There's 25 of them and I need to have them not on heat overnight. And I just didn't have the capability. But now I think I blew it on these as well. But we'll find out. I'm gonna pot them like this is gonna make it. That'll green up right away and it's got some roots so We'll get these in pots and see what happens with them. Okay, each one of these is different. I know this one's gonna make it. It does have some what were leaves that got messed up, but I believe it'll make it. It's got both a leaf and roots on, on both ends, which kinda sucks, but again, I believe it's gonna make it. not going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to move things around so that I can have better access to my dirt and get these things potted. So I got everything potted that I think is going to grow. Well, I got everything potted. I got the ones that have no roots at all in here. Just everything. Grapes and lilacs. And the lilac with a single root is right here. Cut the top off. 
you can see it's running out of uh, reserves there. So hopefully that root makes it. The rest of these all have roots. These are all grapes. The rest of them all have roots, but some of them have this stuff where they have roots above ground. So I think these will all make it though. Yeah, I wish I would have spent more time on, on this lilac and grape stuff, but it's not as important to me as getting these grasses in. So it is what it is. Natalie's hollyhocks are coming along really nice. I just love the short bushiness of them. They got to be getting pretty uh, pot bound by now, but we'll see. Hopefully we can get them in the ground without having to transfer them to another pot. That is preferable. I think I'm going to thin out this. Um, there's only a few that I would like here. Um, one, two, three, four of them. The rest are just too tiny and they're just taking up space. So I think I'm going to thin this out today. On the veggie garden, nothing on the small tomatoes. Got two big tomatoes up. None of the grasses. These are all bottle brush grass. A uh, couple cucumbers up and all of the broccoli. That one's laying down because I poured water right on top of it. You wouldn't think it'd be that weak though. Okay, and this is the prairie drop seed. I've been thinning them, so like this, this has two or three in it. They're getting pretty tall. This is just such a delicate grass until it gets a little bigger. But once it does get bigger, it's pretty much maintenance free. So I don't know, with these just fine little grass like that, it's kind of hard to believe any of these are gonna make it, but let's hope so. I gotta get these watered and this is drying out as well. This is the little blue stem doing really well. I've been thinning these a bit every day and you can see they're doing really nice. But every day or so I get one like this that'll die. Let me see if I can right right here. One that's completely dead. So hopefully they don't just continue to do that. Hopefully that's just some weak little ones. Um, I mean that one looks really nice. Let's just hope for the best. At some point, I'll just get these bigger ones in the pots and maybe they'll do better with a little more dirt. In the wild, these get, oh, what was it, 10 foot or 12 foot roots? They just get massive roots. So these tiny little cells are probably nowhere near enough for them. This is the purple love grass. I actually split these yesterday. Well, not all of them, but I split. Wherever I had two fairly good sized ones, I just pulled the plug out and gently separated them and popped one of them into a, a cell that had nothing in it. So I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Even if I get a couple dozen out of this, that would be great. It's a beautiful grass. And over here, the hanging plants, we have one pepper that's up, and that is, let me see if I saved that here. That is these poinsettia hot peppers. These are just gorgeous, really like those. So we have a few of them that are planted back here, nothing up, and that single one right there. So let me get these watered and we'll go from there.
Okay, that'll wrap it up. I got to do a little bit of thinning on these two. I think I'm going to leave these alone. They are so fine. It's just, you hate to take any of them out of there. But I guess I need to. You can see where this one is thinned down to two, and I guess that looks okay. I just wish they would uh, till her out and get some extra blades to them so they look more substantial. But anyway, I better get going before this wind picks up again. It's going to be sustained 20-some mile an hour winds today, and I don't want to deal with that out here. It's just way too noisy. So, if you want to see the progress out here, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.